What up motherfuckers, I'm but not here and today I'm gonna be reacting to apparently Logan Paul has been sued. The title says Logan Paul's fiance suing Dylan Dallas is more serious than you think. Full breakdown. I mean this shit is just wild to me. Cause we've seen Logan Paul's tweets. We've seen no I'm sorry, not Logan Paul, I mean we've seen Dylan Dallas' tweets, the videos, the pictures. It's obviously just mainly targeting Dylan Logan Paul's fiance, but the tweets is crazy. The pictures are crazy. Logan Paul saying her body count's five from the from the tweets, from the from what she's saying. I don't know if it's five or not, bro. I don't know if it's five. Could be at least forty five, sixty at minimum. But now, I guess it's gone too far. I don't think it has gone too far. People are just being over dramatic. This is this is what they wanted. The KSI said promote, so this is Dylan Dance promoting. Long Paul's not really promoting. Tommy Fury is not pro not really promoting. It's only KSI and Dylan Dance. And KSI even said, if you wanna, if you're a YouTuber, promote. Dylan Dance is not only a YouTuber. He's a fighter. So he should. So he's promoting. All, and all of a sudden now it's gone too far, and now uh, Dylan Dance's Long Paul's fiance uh, is suing. Dance, which is stupid. Eaten, but I have serious. not even eaten uh, yet yeah, because, because there is breaking right. news in the influencer boxing scene. I heard this as I was switching planes to get on the second plane. To, and to be plain honest with you guys, I'm kind of done talking uh, talk about the subject of today's video because it seems like we just can never get away from it. But it is none other than Dylan Dennis, who is not just making headlines because he is berating and completely destroying Logan Paul and his fiance's public image, relationship, trust and holy matrimony, I don't know, but it's been downright personal. But today, this went from trolling personal, insensitive, some would say disgusting, and morally wrong, to then potentially wrong on a legal level, and has put the entire prime card in flux, potentially the Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis fight, in some sort of jeopardy, because Nina Agdell, like I said, Nina, Logan Paul's okay. fiance, has now filed a lawsuit against Dylan Dennis, amongst other things, including a restraining order, and now we have to talk about it. The breakdown. Let's go. But before we do that, let's give a big shout uh, out to the sponsor. No, it has not gone too far. What? A restraining order. Her name is Nina, okay. And Nina is doing is giving is suing Dylan Dance and putting a restraining order because she because Dylan Dance is sending public tweets. These are all apparently a half of a lot of this shit is public. And if, if a lot of this shit is public, what are you suing Dylan Dance for? I don't get that. Fuck Prime. I mean, yeah, fuck Prime, but also fuck whatever he's promoting. Has nothing, at least of legal sense, to do with Logan Paul. So, this is a case between those two individuals because, quite frankly, Dylan has talked specifically about Logan's girl. And obviously, some things that she's claiming here, he's done illegal. This is from TMZ Sports, which, by the way, TMZ reached out to me. They DM'd me. I'm just going <laughs> to... Can I show you guys? I hadn't put two and two together yet because I was on a plane today. But this is a DM from TMZ Live that said, Hey, have any interest in being on TV to comment on a story for our TV show TMZ Live via Skype? We'll have a list of topics to choose from the day you're available. I said, what's the story? Not realizing because I'd been on a plane what was going on. I thought it was going to be something around like a Jake Paul KSI fight. <laughs> kind of got excited. So, it's and, Nina uh, again. It's so, pissed so anyway, about like TMZ says here, Nina Agdal done. sues Dylan Dennis over Paul fighting trolling files for restraining order. So it wasn't just a lawsuit that was filed here from Nina, but also a restraining order. It goes on. Dylan Dennis's incessant online trolling of Nina Agdal has driven Logan Paul's fiance to the point of suing Dylan Dennis and filing for a restraining order against him to make it stop. Now again, images that were already what? publicly on the internet, I'm not exactly sure what he's liable for here, but maybe it's going to be in the suit itself, which I actually did find, and we're gonna take a look at in a second through all the details of all the claims, but outside of him posting things that are already public, which is, again, morally wrong, and no one of any sort of brain power is condoning Dylan to do this and that it's a good way to promote. I've seen him promote it, it does draw eyes. He is promoting more than anyone else, good, bad, or indifferent, that is what he's done. Done here, but it's gone past that into again personal. Oh, come on, 
This is some bullshit, and you know it. This is some bullshit. It has not gone too far. What do you mean it's gone too far? It hasn't gone too far. Then that is just posting random pictures and just tweeting out and just promoting. Yeah, there are some points where he's insulting Nina, but is it my fault? Is it anyone's fault? The long pole wifed up a hoe. Is it, is it anyone's fault? The long pole wifed up the wrong person. Long ago, wifed up the wrong person, and now she bro, the guy literally wifed up a model. That's probably the one of the biggest mistakes you'd ever do wife, wife up a model. Like, bro, I don't give if she's an ex one, if she's a model, and then you're and she's in the public eye, and people know that you and then the online the online world know that you're in a relationship with her. My guy, you're fucked. You're gonna see a lot of photos and a lot of videos that you've never that that your girl or your wife has never seen and never told you, and you're gonna be second guessing. Why did, I, why did I wife up this model? Why did I be in a relationship with this chick? It is what it is, and now uh, Longpool has seen the consequences. And Longpool deserves every single bit of it. He, he scammed his fans of this crypto shit of over a million dollars. He's the, the, the suicide forest situation, you know what I'm saying? The love fucked up shit. He lied, he kept lying to his fans, all this other shit. So, him. Him, then that just violating his his, his fiance is nothing really. It's just nothing. But obviously, this is a bunch of awful things here, and quite frankly, a legal situation. So Agdell beelined it to court Wednesday to file docs obtained by TMZ Sports, claiming Dennis has posted quote despicable things about her more than two hundred and fifty times. Since his fight with Paul was announced earlier this summer, is that real? I watched this happen in the first week, and then obviously something we're going to talk about later in the video, the big video that Dylan had put out. And of course, you day by day see the posts go out, and you kind of just scroll past it because at least for a grown adult, the game gets a little bit stale after a while. I even told you guys I started to be more enticed with the promotion of KSI and Tommy Fury, and I was actually looking to try to interview Dylan, KSI, Tommy, whoever. Logan's not going to say yes to that, but anybody to then get more back into the fight talk because that's what I care about. But it seems like this was going to continue happening and happened more than 250 times. I had seen 250 times is crazy. But that's that. But that's Dan Dan. He's the Twitter king. He's the Twitter fiend. He between like crazy, bro. What'd you expect? As soon as the fight's been announced, this guy's been violating Logan's fiance since the get go. He, he all his photos and videos were saved up, man. Nigga. He was saved up. <laughs> this shit is wild to me, bro. It was saved up, bro. He had all the photos and videos saved up. He was like, he was just, he was, just, he was just ready to. Like a fucking hyena, but like a fucking hyena who's been horny for the past five days. <laughs> well, this guy is a mental disabled. Fucking. A lot of it, but 250 fucking times. My God. In her suit, she claims she suffered humiliation, emotional distress, and reputational harm, Come alleging on. that one post from Dennis made on August 11th in particular violated federal and state law okay now this this is where it could get a little dicey because like we talked about with this entire thing put up and i even made a tweet about it i said listen dylan was posting public pictures that were on google readily available that's one thing that is again morally wrong disgusting misogynistic all the words that you want to use that are correct how is it misogynistic he just he just posting pictures of logan Paul's fiance just doing dirty stuff. It's local. You sh it's Nina who's doing the, who's doing the dirty shit. It's Nina who's doing the very inappropriate stuff. Like Dylan does, just tweeting it. He's not doing anything wrong with it. He's just tweeting what the Nina has done in the past. Where's the misogyny in that? I don't see. I don't understand. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. They just the bro. They just spew out massage. They they just say they just say spew out massage like it's a fucking. Toy like your misogynist. Oh, if you say anything bad about women, your misogynist. Your misogynist doesn't make sense. That aren't illegal and will not land him in any hot water in legal terms. So unless Misfits and or Dzone had a problem with him doing it and was going to remove him from the card for doing so, which I thought was not the right move. That was already walking on the line. This is crossing it. If there is actual evidence of. Dylan breaking federal and state law. I mean, I don't think we're talking jail time because this is a civil case from what I understand, but still a ton of money and damages. And again, probably some issues with the fight here. But regardless, this is not good. This is over the line, if true. Dylan threw up a sexually explicit image of her 
that was taken down from a romantic encounter she had with a person more than 10 years ago. Quote, Dylan posted the photograph entirely uncensored from his ex Twitter account. Not his ex Twitter. They're calling it X now. It's the stupidest name for an app. Elon, what the fuck are you doing? Back into the quote. Yes, X. X, 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 like my ex enemies. That stupid name to X, bro. Elon Musk just loves the word X, bro. He gets hard off the word X, bro. He gets addicted hard off the word X, and that's how it ends. And then it gets hard. But yeah, bro, Twitter X. I'm still gonna call it Twitter. Okay, I'm not calling it X. He's, he, he, named Elon, he named his son a fucking Morse code. The guy does not care about his sons, but obviously his sons, his sons will never go private, private, will never go public school or private school. Like, this guy's gonna teach him everything, because Elon Musk knows everything, so I don't think there's a point with them going to school. But yeah, that's, 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 he named his sons. Uh, wait, how, bro, how would he fucking talk to his sons? Like, hey, ex girl, or hey, ex ex Oh, but like, nah, that's the stupidest one. But Without anyways, the, the plaintiff's consent, end quote. Agdell wrote in the suit, quote, Later that day, Dylan reposted the explicit photograph in order to maximize the number of views it would receive. This is in reference to the completely nude, well, top part completely nude photograph of Nina that was posted on Twitter. And it got massive attention and obviously was the first big shocking photo that Dylan had posted about this entire thing once the fight was announced and he started to do his version of promoting. If that wasn't a public image, which again, she's alleging here that was a sexually explicit image that was taken from a romantic encounter she had with a person more than 10 years ago, that doesn't seem like it's a public image. Again, that's, again, I, I don't know the specifics of where Dylan got that image, but Regardless, Which is more than ten years ago, he's trying to make it seem like oh, it was so long ago. From from the amount of photos and videos I've seen, they tell me a lot. Half of these, almost 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 every video was from ten to eleven years ago. There are a lot of these pictures are probably from that's probably from four years ago, five years ago. You see, maybe one of them, maybe a couple of them, or, or more than ten years ago. But even if that photo was from ten years ago. You still have a you still have a high body count. Don't lie about your body count. If he got an image that was sent to him, that was a private image, but then was sent to him, DM to him, whatever, and he posted it publicly, that's on him. That's a massive and again, yeah, probably that's, the person that's that sent it to up, him. Obviously, but that's a that's I'm pretty sure. All right, so I am for fuck's sake, I reset. The, what the fuck did you do? Photo that Dylan had posted about this entire thing once the fight was announced, and he started to do his version of promoting if that over 14th Dennis Dennis versus Paul tilt I don't know what that is threatened to cancel the fight unless he took it down so the threats right, of Dylan, Dylan being kicked off the card for posting that image were actually true which again I wasn't well, in agreement with because these were public, public images to my knowledge at the time turns out they maybe weren't and if they weren't then yeah I'm flipping a 180 on this whole thing because you can't share private images of people publicly even if you didn't obtain them privately or you thought they were public, it's still you liable for the fact that you shared a private image that was explicit without the person who was in the image consent for using it publicly. That is a big no-no. Agdell added in the suit that many of Danis' other posts have upset her, including a tweet he made on August 28th that she says showed a video of her from more than six years ago where she talked about Quote, her desire for intimacy during a period of celibacy. She claims in the oh, suit that yeah. the vid That video of her just begging for a dick, like, I just want a dick to destroy me from the inside. Oh, that video was... Mad. That was a crazy video. When I saw that, that, when I saw that video, I'm like, what the fuck? She a freaky ass nigga, bro. She a freaky ass nigga. What the fuck? It had been yeah. stored deep in her Snapchat archive. Quote, suggesting Danis had hacked her okay, personal no. account or obtained That's private bullshit. video from someone who had done so. This one's a little more iffy because one, this is a video that she claims upset her. And yes, it is a private video apparently from her Snapchat account like that was shared know, to yeah. Dylan. So it would, I guess, fall under the same kind of category. But she's also suggesting that Dylan 
either hacked her or obtained the private video from someone that had. Again, these are allegations. And I don't know that the man that speaks like this. What's he gonna do? He gonna do shit. He's a fucking pussy, man. Defend your brother, Logan. Defend your brother, Logan. Why are you so excited about that win, Tommy? Def defend your Logan, bro. Why are you, why are you well, Yeah, go on there. Just like your dad beat your fucking Come kid. Come on, bro. <laughs> your dad didn't beat you? Going to be able to use some sort of cybernetic tech to hack Nina's Snapchat and get her video doesn't mean that it's okay. Bro, I've seen the video. How would it be on the Snapchat archive? That doesn't make sense because at the end, she said, at the end of the video, she said, uh, I don't, I don't want to quote it, but she, she said it's something like this. It's something like, oh, uh, if you know, if you know, like, if you know anyone that has a big sausage or whatever, big dick, just tell me. If this was really on your Snapchat archive it, and you never sent it, if, if this was really, really in your Snapchat archive, which probably, which probably means that she never sent it to anyone or whatever, why, why did you say, oh, God, uh, if you don't know that has a big dick, tell me. Come on, bro. She, they didn't ha she, he didn't hack you. He, he's too stupid for that, bro. He's a Twitter fiend. Come on. Okay, that he used it if, again, it is a private video. If someone got that or the person that Nina sent it to sent it to Dylan or somehow someone did hack her account, it's still something that can be held liable against him in the court of law. So again, yeah, who the fuck is not Nina good. She's asking for so unspecified damages in the suit, but wants no less than 150k per violation of federal law prohibiting the sharing of intimate images. And again, this is where it gets a little dicey is like the 150k intimate images does the Snapchat video again while it is unsettling and maybe upset her and is a private 150,000 for just random images of Nina saying inappropriate and doing or, or wearing inappropriate or doing inappropriate stuff 150,000 is this is this whole serious is this bitch serious bitch who the fuck are you you're Logan Paul's fucking fiance you're nothing you're no one who the fuck are you you're a skeleton you're flash shit you got no boobs you got no ass you're flash shit why do you need 150,000 for you fucking beggar you fucking freak are you crazy 150,000 for this for some guy showing videos showing random images of videos of you of what you did in the past I told you what you do in the past or what you say or what you whatever you do it could damage you in the future and this is how it is this is your fault name for doing this stupid shit it's your fault the fuck 150,000 are you are you crazy that video I guess is that going to fall under the intimate images Clause in the federal law to be able to charge him 150k for that post, and I'm assuming the other one that she's talking about, just that alone, $300,000, is a massive number. And again, this seems like when you heard Jake say yesterday or two days ago, he was like, Dylan's a pawn in this whole thing. Logan's gonna fight him, but he's still a pawn. Logan allowed him to do this, and insinuating that potentially something like this was on the way. So it looks like Jake knew that Logan and or Nina were planning on putting something together and now Nina has come forward with this lawsuit. As for her TRO, which I'm assuming, I think is their restraining order? Temporary restraining order, there we go. She's asking a judge to bar Dennis from posting sexually explicit images of her going forward in the wake of Dennis's repeated threats to release further images that could be damaging to Agdal's reputation. This is a big deal right here because of the fight, right? This doesn't ask for some sort of, which I don't even know that Nina would be able to get some sort of restraining order from Dylan and not allow him to actually show up to the fight, his place of work, or his employee to fight Logan that night. But it does look like from what she's asking for, it's pretty reasonable, again, barring what is legal here and what isn't. We'll have to find out. Again, all this allegations, but Dylan can still come and actually fight Logan on the night. The only things that Nina is asking for is 150K per violation, which is a fucking bad. I'm telling you, That's I looked at my much. Twitter monetization. Like, it's not bro, anywhere near I'm Dylan's, ridiculous. but it's also nowhere near YouTube monetization. And I don't know if he's pulling in that kind of guap, even with the 2 billion impressions. I don't know if he's going to be able to make that up with Elon Musk, Tesla, PayPal, got me a new hairdo, I do jujitsu, and I'm trying to suck my the fuck trying to fight that? Mark Zuckerberg, you heard, money, I don't think he can afford this. Nigga, what the fuck just happened, bro? What the fuck just happened, bro? 300,000 for some explicit images, bro. Bro, what what is Nina doing? Doing a stupid restraining order for what, nigga?
even if some of the pictures, uh, images were private. Nigga, why would you even put that on your camera in the first place? The this first kind of per violation fee. So this may be exactly what does finally get Dylan to calm down, but he is saying that's not happening. For Danis's part, he's been unapologetic over the post throughout the last few weeks, saying they've been helping to promote his upcoming fight with Paul. Danis took to Twitter to comment on the lawsuit, saying, quote, Nina Agdell has filed a massive lawsuit against me. She's filed a restraining order against me and is seeking prison time. So the fight's in jeopardy if I'm in jail. <laughs> yeah, the fight wouldn't be in jeopardy if you're in jail, Dylan. The fight would be off. This is actually wild, but I won't stop. Fuck the system. Come get me. Logan <laughs> Paul is a dead I'm man. man. We've heard that Dylan rolls with some, some people, at least, from his words and Logan's and from geriatric Metamucil Mike Malak that... They pulled up on those two with guns, apparently. Like someone, one of Dylan's guys had a gun pulled on Mike in New York. Damn. So I don't know that <laughs> in your response. Uh, I don't think Logan Paul has anyone with him. He has security, security guards, but I'm sure Logan Paul doesn't have links with gang members or anyone. Because who the, who, which type of gang member in their right mind would the fuck with, with the fuck up, would the fuck with Logan Paul? He's a, Logan Paul's a piece of shit. So I, I don't think he has, I'm sure he doesn't have any gang members' contacts. He only has security guards, tall black security guards, and that's what he, he has no one. He has no one. Response to the lawsuit about harassment that yeah, you should crazy. be putting out declarative yeah, statements that are in writing stupid. on the internet of Logan Paul saying, Logan Paul is a dead man walking without any context behind that because that now looks like you're threatening someone who is in a relationship with someone who filed a lawsuit towards you. DMZ follows up with, we should say the lawsuit doesn't mention anything about Dylan Dennis missing the fight or being barred from the event, nor does Nina ask for prison time. Oh. That's not how lawsuits work. Oh my God, that's too funny. Just the way that's written in itself does make it seem like Dylan is making a bigger deal out of like what's being alleged here than it actually is. I don't know that though, but that's not where this stops because I got the actual legal document. Now we're not gonna go through the entire thing, but I do wanna go through the allegations point by point and let's see if there's anything more in there that could leave Dylan feeling like that. Like he's like, oh, the prison time. Like, is there anything else in there that could have him a little spooked here or obviously a little bit concerned with his legal standing based on what they're asking for or what's kind of embedded in here. So let's let's take a look. We're going to start with the general allegations because that's why we're here. The harassment campaign against the plaintiff. Notwithstanding that plaintiff has never met, spoken to, or interacted with Danis, Danis has nevertheless made the, the plaintiff the primary target of his attacks against Paul. Danis has used his social media accounts to make hundreds of crude posts about the plaintiff, most of which either explicitly call the plaintiff a whore, Damn. slut, or a similarly disparaging label. In one post on August 22, 2023, for example, Dylan Danis wrote, quote, I just saw 20 guys go into <laughs> plaintiff's room nah. at the Fighter Hotel, oh my intimating... That plaintiff would have sex with 20 men at the same time. I mean, obviously, this is... Nigga, that is so realistic, bro. That is so fucking realistic. Like, even in the fucking... F in, the f in the fight, in the press conference, he was still going in. Like, you tell me you've never interacted with... Uh, long, uh, Nina never interacted with... Uh, what's, what's the name? Dylan Dennis. Like, not even the press conference. Like, I'm sure Nina came with, to the press conference, I'm sure. But we never saw a long pause of his talk. It was, it was again the interviews, but we never saw Nina at all. So I think Nina was just hiding in the locker room the whole time. Because she's afraid that she's going to get interviewed and then she's going to ask the question, like, how do you feel? How do you deal? How do you feel that Dylan Dan has seen your tweets? And obviously, he just want to answer because it's probably a lot of those tweets are true. He's stupid. Like, like that's. That. <laughs> It's like third grade level stupid. That this is an official court document is silly to me. This on its own has no legal standing. Like it's just Dylan tweeting some bullshit. And again, a crude manner and in, in a misogynistic kind of fuck you way that right. has no real meaning. It's just his way of just being an asshole. But again, maybe they're trying to say because they're stacked up over and over and over and over and over, it turns into a online full on harassment campaign like it said here. But that on its own, it's just stupid. Similarly, in another X post on August 15th, plaintiff's face had been pasted onto an image with five men for that same reason. In other posts, Dylan included pictures that had been photoshopped or otherwise altered to make it appear as though plaintiff and Dennis had been photographed together. Dennis then added text to suggest that he and plaintiff have had a sexual relationship. Yeah, you know, again, 
I saw these. These are obviously fake images, and it looked like, again, people had started DMing Dylan pictures that either they had self-made or Dylan had had someone made, which I don't know. That'd be... St- it's a waste of money. But then he would post them sometimes with no text, sometimes with text, with just innocuous kind of innuendos, like, look what I'm doing. But again, it's definitely crude. It's definitely, you know, in my opinion, over the line, but there, I don't see... Oh, come, no, no, no. I'm not had enough. It's not over the line. It's not crude in any way. Yeah, it's crude, but it's not over the line. Let me tell you this, motherfucker. Dylan Dance has been with Conor McGregor. For many years, Conor McGregor Con- Con- has been with Conor McGregor's um, corner and been training with Conor McGregor with Jiu-Jitsu for many years. Con- then that has has mastered the persona and has mastered the techniques of him talking trash and all that shit with, for and techniques with with Conor McGregor. That's where he's got all his talk- talking trash from. That's where he got. But obviously, when he speaks on the he speaks with on the mic, he's terrible. He's shit. But when he's on the Twitter. He's classic. He's a beautiful. He's a beautiful masterpiece. The way he tweets is a master, masterpiece. Is a massive masterpiece. But from the face-to-face clips I've seen, he's a terrible talker. He needs to take that kind of energy and speak, speak properly, and speak with you know, the rhyming techniques and all that shit. But from the kind of and Khabib press conferences, and the interviews, and the face of all that shit, kind of Mugger disrespected Khabib's religion, kind of Mugger. This is respect to Khabib's wife, uh, his ethnicity, his country, his father, everything. He just he went deep, 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 and he went deep inside the rabbit hole, and the fight didn't get called off. He didn't get sued. He can't remember he even assaulted Khabib inside the bus. He threw a chair, which assa- assaulted one of the UFC fighters. He didn't get sued. He didn't get fined. He probably got fined, but but not but not as much. He didn't get sued. Nothing happened. You wanna know why? Because this was the one. This was literally the biggest fight, like biggest UFC fight of all time. One of the biggest fight, UFC UFC fights of all time. And if they cancel this, all the money will be going. All the all the money will be gone, and a lot of fans will be pissed. But they still carried on, even though the even though. There was no morals. They were just dis- they were just, Conor McGregor was just disrespecting Khabib the whole time. It was absolutely disgusting. But the money, sponsorships, the deals, and everything—that's all the UFC wanted. So if Misfits removes Dylan Dennis from this event because of Dylan Dennis promoting, yes, he is promoting. Yes, the promoting you may not like it, but all he is is posting random photos. Of Logan Paul's wife. That's all he's doing. That's all he is doing. And people are making it out to seem like he's the devil. People are making it out to seem like he has done the he is doing the worst type of crime. What about Conor McGregor? He's the most vile and the most disgusting type of shit to, to almost every fight that he's faced. But no one says anything. Why didn't no one say anything when when Conor McGregor was attacking Khabib's livelihood? Attacking his own wife, his father's religion. No one even, no one said nothing. No one, no one said a penny because there was money on the line. Motion, deals, everything. Nobody give a fuck. So the truth is, if the, if the money's right, if the, if the deals are right, you can practically do whatever you want and whatever you say and you get away with it. So if Misfits removes Logan Paul, no, then then it's, from this event, the misfits are hypocrites because they said they want promotion, and when they get promotion, they can't handle it. So please, misfits, don't ask for promotion. You can't handle it. Please shut the fuck up. Let's continue. See any legal bounds for this to be an issue, other than just to stack up their claim that they want a restraining order, and that's really all I can see this specifically being used for the restraining order, which would then make Dylan, according to the thing we saw on TMZ, stop posting about Nina. The only issue then would come from that is if it got into a point where Dylan wouldn't stop posting even after the restraining order, if this is granted, then you start to have some charges that can come out of that in actual jail time. In one such ex-post on the 20th of August 2023, 
Danis included a supposed picture of plaintiff and himself along with the text, the one time I didn't pull out. Okay. Dang. August 22, Dylan that, posts, that Danis crazy. posts another fake picture just, of plaintiff and himself. Text, this time with the text, Logan threw a tantrum and left the arena before our face-off, so I did it with a real fighter who can go more than six rounds. See, when they're stacked up like this in text form, it just reads like a middle school kind of back exactly. and forth, like your mom jokes type of thing, which... Again, obviously, no sixth grader has millions of followers that Dylan has now amassed, so I understand it. It just, <laughs> I've said this when it came out, it's low effort garbage. Dennis also has harassed plaintiff through a series of ex posts, distastefully joking about plaintiff's female anatomy, given her supposed sexual history, and offensively suggesting Paul should, quote, get checked for sexually transmitted diseases that he may have contracted from plaintiff. Here's an interesting point. That's crazy. Number 24 of this entire thing. Although there are many pictures of plaintiff in the this public domain on. given her professional success and the media attention that has come with it, not all of the content Danis has used for his posts relating to plaintiff have been publicly available prior to his posts. That That's is where this one. becomes a big issue. So if Dylan posted these publicly, then they were private images and or videos before that, and he is the first one to post them publicly, whether he knew it or not, this is where legal hot water comes in, and she actually probably does have a claim to that 150,000, whatever it is. I may not get that number, but the claim of the lawsuit in general. On August 28th, Danis posted the video of plaintiff in which she briefly discussed her desire for intimacy, period, that we saw that. Yeah. While plaintiff self-recorded that video more than six years ago, she never sent that private recording to anyone, and it was stored deep in her Snapchat archive. So she didn't even send it to anyone. We're talking about the words of Nina Agdow, which again, I'm not I'm not trying to invalidate at all. It's just, I don't know how you would even check that unless someone else came forward and was like, yo, I got, I got this on my phone. Like Snapchat, I know can be, the company itself, I know can go back and look through these, like all the stuff you guys send on Snapchat, by the way, if you're sending some crazy shit to people, don't do it. just it's know that good. it is not as private as you think. For her sake, she's saying she didn't even send it. So again, this leads to the claim that Danis either has hacked plaintiff's personal account or had obtained the private video from someone who had done so. That second part is a little more believable. Again, Dylan, in my opinion, I don't think Dylan is hacking yeah, anything more know, than a chest cold or weeds that. in his front yard. But I do think there are people out there that probably either had some sort of issues with, I don't know, Nina or maybe even just Logan Paul more so than Nina. And the verbiage here, again, that private video has now been viewed more than 135 million times. Good God. Number 28. Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's finished. Even if you, if you, if you delete it, we've always seen the video. I've seen the video multiple times. I've seen all the tweets multiple times. That, that video was crazy. Um, but I've been seeing so many texts, I've been seeing so many YouTubers reacting to it, and they were just like shocked, they were like, what the fuck did she just say? I just want, I just want a big slasher to destroy me. Like, what the fuck? We've seen it. Who cares if you delete it? It's not going to make a difference. We've seen it 137 million times. That's crazy. It's too late, Nina. You're fucked. It's done. What a reputation. If you, if you were never with Logan, you, never, you, would, you would be a regular model. Suck my dick. No, I don't want to, don't suck me. Don't you, I don't want you to suck my dick. You're a disease. No, I'm good. Among Danis' many offensive posts, at least one violated federal and state law and gives rise to the claims asserted in this complaint. This is what we talked about earlier, the explicit photo. In the course of the romantic encounter, the plaintiff, a non-party, more than 10 years ago, the non-party took a sexually explicit photograph of plaintiff without her consent. So she's saying that she didn't even know this picture was taken, or she didn't give consent for it to be taken, but then, I don't know. So what? she's saying this that photograph wasn't even taken with her consent. Not just that it was not shared with her consent. It wasn't even taken with her consent is what she's alleging here. And then on number 30. How, no, 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 how, no, no, no. How the fuck does that make sense? How the fuck? How, how did you? How, what do you mean it wasn't taken with her when Hold on. By August 11, 2023, Danis had come into possession of that explicit photograph of plain tip that depicted a full frontal nudity. Uh, thank you. Excuse me. On that day, Danis posted the photograph entirely uncensored from his ex account. Fucking stupid ass name. Without plaintiff's consent. Later that day, Danis reported the clips of the photograph maximized the number of views it would receive. Without her consent. So she's saying that she didn't even know this picture was taken. Or she didn't give consent. But how did she not know the picture was taken, bro? Bro, how? She was looking, she was looking deep at the, she was looking deep in the camera. Like, how did you not know the picture was taken? Like, couldn't you see a person holding a big, couldn't you see the person holding a phone? 
Like, that's just that's just a stupid excuse. Just, bro, bro, this document looks terrible. This document looks shit. I'm just seeing text. Bro, I'm half half the document is just is just text from Dylan Dan's just talking trash. That that's not gonna do anything in the lawsuit. Dylan Dan's talking trash and is being being uh ign is being talking trash to Logan Paul's wife. Isn't that good for the law? So you can't sue for that. That's nothing. I'm, I'd be seeing, I'd be seeing crackers. I'd be seeing random motherfuckers in the streets say the most racist shit. But he just, they're just talking trash. You can't sue him for that. This document is ass. This is shit. Sent for it to be taken, but then I don't know. So she's saying this that photograph wasn't even taken with her consent. Not just that it was not shared with her consent. It wasn't even taken with her consent. Is what she's alleging here. And then on number thirty. By August 11th, Dennis had come into possession of that explicit photograph of plaintiff that depended that depicted full frontal nudity. On that day, Dennis posted the photograph entirely uncensored from his ex account without plaintiff's consent. By the time the post was deleted, it had been viewed hundreds of thousands, if not millions of times, yeah, and had been done. saved and reshared an untold to number of times. Yeah, that is it's not good. And again. If it's already, this, even if you deleted it, which she did, it was too late because I've already seen it. I've seen people repost it. It's done. It's finished. It's too late. I've seen it. We've seen it. <laughs> but maybe some of the maybe some of the tweets that then that has been tween. Some of the pictures that he, he's been posting. Maybe it's a possibility that some of it from the talk, documents that some of it is privated. And if that's the case, that's fucked. Because he's been posting almost regularly, almost every day. He keeps spamming, tweeting pictures of De Nina, and, and I don't know how he has all these pictures. So probably some of it is uh, is private, and which it is, that means I guess it's the end of Dendan's promoting, or you know, like maybe the end of Dendan's sent posting Twitter, t posting pictures of Nina on Twitter. But damn, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so, for fuck me, I removed it again, bro, see, I told you, raw, no cuts, no editing, bro, come on, bro, fuck out here, nigga. He possessed a picture of plaintiff that was like, quote, a nuclear bomb. That is not good. And again, if this is true, it's alleged right now, we shared an untold number of times. Yeah, that is not good. And again, if this is true... It's alleged right now, we continue to say that here, it is alleged, but if it is true, Dylan's gonna have some legal issues to deal with here. Exactly. Not, I don't think it's gonna affect his fight, but it will absolutely affect his life. On August 20th, 2023, Dennis posted on X that he possessed a picture of plaintiff that was like, quote, a nuclear bomb. Oh, the damage yeah. it would do would be irreparable. He, he, could, he was hyping quote, up like Dennis crazy. said, if he posted the picture, it would be, quote, the end of the fight, end of Paul's engagement, and he might even find himself in jail, end quote. Then he said, in a post two days later, on August 22nd, 2023, Dennis said, if we hit two million on my Instagram, I'll drop the picture. He keeps referring to this nuke of a picture, nuke of a picture, and I think he might have even shown, I don't know if this is the same picture, but he showed something to Aiden Ross on stream. He didn't yeah, show the image away. on stream, but he showed something to Aiden. Could have been a work. Dylan's been working a lot of people with this whole thing. But again, if Dylan is doubling down on this, and saying, hey, I'm going to put this picture out and it's going to destroy everything. To the point where Nina and or people around her are pressing for this lawsuit. Like, they have now filed it. Either that picture is as damning as Dylan is saying, which again, doesn't make it okay for him to go and post it. In fact, he should not. It's grounds for legal action. It's a bad, bad look. I know it's going to galvanize the people that are supporting him doing this and, and are on board with it and, and, you know, have this idea that he's saving Logan from his marriage, but <laughs> this is an innocent third party you're talking about in Nina, and if he has something that is this private, this nuclear, that it would end all marriages and the fight and he's in jail unless it's an intentional thing now where it's like i'm just gonna say fuck everything and throw it all away the legal aspects of this aren't affecting his fight aspects and the whole thing is supposed to be about the fight if he's not going to fight then what have we all done here and i know i know you, you didn't sh this shit is cr shit this shit is crazy bro like i don't know what to say like this fight is still gonna happen but I guess from this, from the documents, from the documents I'm seeing right now, they just Nina just wants Dead and Dance to just stop posting shit, cause the nuclear weapon, the nuclear photo or video that he's been hyping up, 
He hasn't, he hasn't posted it yet. Hasn't posted it yet. But I've seen so much. I've seen like five at six nuclear weapon tweets from Dylan Dennis, and he said he's not a nuclear weapon. So how bad is this tweet? And from uh, Nina is suing Logan Paul and putting a restraining order of him not posting anything about her. That nuclear photo or video could be real. It's a possibility. It could be ninety-five percent real. But I've seen a t I've seen a video of N Nina just kissing and just going crazy as some girl, some celebrity, because she she's a model, so she's probably been in relations with a lot of celebrities. But a lot of the pictures could just be her doing a celebrity photo, because she is a model. So obviously, a lot of the photos that Dylan Dance has been tweeting is is out of context. Not all of them, she, that or not all of these photos that she has been in relate has she has been in a relationship with. But some. But obviously, a lot of these other photos she probably has been in a relationship with. So, long for lying that she has a podcast five, it's not possible, especially not as not possible, especially in this generation. I know 16 to 17 year olds that have a podcast six, seven, and it just keeps going up. So, her at age what 30 something, having a, or 20 something, having a podcast five is, is unrealistic. And from the tweets, and she's a model, she's definitely lying. But her suing Dylan Dennis and all that shit. It's crazy, bro. Show up for the last one, but Dylan, if you want to fight, you gotta stop now. Gotta There's another down, interesting bro. part. On August 20th, 2023, a professional kickboxer named Andrew Tate responded to one of Danis's posts oh, on X, noting this, that yeah. Danis had sent him one of the pictures. And this is, again, goes back to that sharing and distributing private images. If this is the case, that Dylan has some of these, like, crazy private images of Nina... And he's not only sharing them, obviously, to the millions, but he's now sharing them to individuals as well. This is highly illegal, man. I mean, there's no other way to put it. That's it highly illegal sense. activity to be doing. Now, if this is actually found to be illegal, one of the things they're going to do is try to find if Dylan did this on purpose, if it was willful or just reckless abandon of the law. And I'm sure that's going to have its own issues, too. But that's where we leave it. Dylan Dan is breaking news and full uh, legal document. It's public information that's out there. On the internet, this is not something that I leaked or anything else. This is public info at the District Court of New Jersey. You guys can go look at the legal document for yourself. But comment down below what the fuck is going on here. Fucking hell, bro. This shit is crazy. If this all turns out to be true, then and then it's not going to be, it's not going to be, it's not, not going to be removed off the fight. There's no way. This, 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 this promotion, this fight, this fight hype of, bro, bro, then and then has talked so much trash against, as against Logan Paul. There is no way Logan Paul will allow his own fiance to say, no, I don't want him to be, I don't want him to fight, I don't want, I don't want him to make any more money, no, no. No. I want Logan Paul to kick then and that's ass, I want Logan Paul to destroy him. I don't want him to, I don't I actually want then and that's to win. But if Logan Paul really cares about his pride, really cares about his fiance, his future wife, he should, he should, he should have this, he should have this fight happen, and he should destroy Logan Dylan Dance and knock him out and make him his bitch in that fight for talking all that trash against his wife, future wife, or whatever. But if this fight doesn't happen and Fion and Nina stop stops Dylan Dance from fighting Logan Paul, then Long and Logan Paul allows that. Logan Paul is the biggest cock of all time. One of the biggest cocks of all time. Because there's no way you're allowing your own future wife to stop you from being the shit out of someone who, who, who has been talking about your wife and, 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 and has been sending inappropriate tweets, posts publicly, and you're just allowing that to happen. In no fucking way. But wait, is it done? There's a couple minutes left. Wait, what? What's going on? Here, right, it's a quick, it's a quick up update. Okay. Yes, it was. Is what's going on? Day here? on this case, not my drink. Even though it's delicious, tastes great, and it's probably the best energy drink. Ah, ah, ah! It's probably better than Prime, though. God, it's probably better than Prime. Anyways, case. He just tweeted out a little bit ago that the court has now granted Nina Agdal's request for a temporary restraining order against Dylan Dennis. And that restraining order says, order that is pending the September 12th, 2023 hearing and until further order of the court, defendant and all persons in active concert or participation with him are enjoined from posting sexually explicit photographs of Plain on the internet without her consent in violation, yada yada. Now, this is interesting for a couple of reasons, because someone then turns up and posts under this and says, does this include photos that are public? Rob then says, for purposes of the law under which she's suing, it doesn't matter whether the photos were distributed previously. So essentially, this is saying a couple of things. One, that Dylan is no longer allowed to post the images he's been posting about Nina Agdell 
under this restraining order, which means if he breaks this restraining order, continues doing what he's doing, then legal action can be taken, and I'm assuming that would go from a civil charge to then criminal charges, because then you're continuing to do the thing the court ordered you not to do. This was also the reason that Nina filed the lawsuit looking for damages. So the response that this person gave to Rob when they said, does this include photos that are already public? And he said, it doesn't really matter if they were shared before, that they're still private images that you couldn't be sharing publicly. This does, like I said a second ago, give credence to the fact that this might actually stick to Dylan. Again, I, I, these are allegations. We don't know what's truth and what isn't, but it is true that Dylan shared a private image regardless who shared it before, even if he didn't know it was private or that it wasn't already a public image. This is something that could cost him that 150k or whatever they end up settling for which is sure. something he's now referenced on twitter saying the only way i would settle with nina is if every dollar she receives from me goes to the victims of crypto zoo which <laughs> it's pretty come funny on, but dylan on. also has individuals he should probably be taken care of in the form of scamming people which has been exposed but the interesting part it was is obvious though come on Long before one was not obvious. Long before was like a fucking event, like a whole plan, like a whole fucking couple months of planning. No. So since this lawsuit has taken place versus Dylan, you haven't seen the more sexually explicit nature as to the pictures or things he is putting out versus Nina or anybody else. In fact, it looks like he's kind of shifting his focus more to Logan now, which I think was the entire point of this thing to kind of scare Dylan into saying, hey, listen, you got to stop this. Or, you know, yeah, legal action is going to come, but try to make this more on the fight. So that's... Where we're at, like I said, um, a whole lot of stuff going down. I don't really have any answer as to how true any. This is the fall of Dylan Dance's uh, for destruction war against Logan Paul's fiance. Logan Paul's fiance has put a restraining order, restraining order on Dylan Dance, which means Dylan Dance cannot post anything, even if it's public. So if if the, if he finds a po a post that's public. It's on the internet, not many people, not many people have seen it, but it's public. He can't post that. But what about if someone else posts that and, and he has and he has as big as much much as much followers as Dylan Dance? Would he get in trouble? It doesn't make sense. But I understand. Dylan Dance has as Dylan Dance ha, has been probably it's probably been confirmed now that he has posted a a tweet or probably a a, a tweet that was meant to be private, but he posted public. So I guess he went too far at that in that end. So he has put uh, Nina has put a restraining order against Dylan Dennis, so he can't post any more explicit images, videos of Nina being a whore or slut or whatever you want to call her or animal, whatever animal you want to call her, you call her. But it's in more folk, more folks on Logan Paul, which is which is short of, which is short of. But you know what I'm saying. I don't really know what to say about this. Uh, this is not. This is not. This is not going to stop the promotion of uh of the fight. Then Tans can. Then can still talk a lot of trash with uh, to Logan Paul. Logan Paul has a lot. A lot of shit. Has a lot of shit that's been hidden. He could talk about Logan Paul as suicide fire situation. All that shit. He already talked about the crypto situation. The crypto situation. He already talked about it in the press conference. But he could like milk. He could egg it on and milk on. He could, he, could do, he could talk a lot of shit against Logan Paul because he's been talking a lot of shit against Logan Paul's fiance. So he could save up all that. Now he, could, now he has all that energy that he saved up to Logan Paul. But this restraining order is pretty crazy. Now I guess I'm not going to because since the, since the fight has been announced, I've been seeing, I'll be seeing so many tweets of Dylan Dan just talking, seeing tweets. Every time I see Dylan Dan, every, 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 every single time, every single time, Dylan Dan has been tweeting. It's just a shock. It's like a shock factor. I'm like, what the fuck? What, what, what's going on? Like, it's crazy. But I guess it's calmed down, but I know I know Dylan Dan, Dan's still going to go in. But yeah, man, this shit is wild, bro. This shit is fucking crazy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to join my Discord server link in the description. Don't forget to click my link tree. All my social media is going to be on my link tree. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, anyways see you in the next video. Bye, goofies.